What's up, lifelong learners? This is your boy, Mr. Hang, and today we're going to be talking about adding text layer and discussing layers in general. So these videos are made to be in sequential order. So if you have not watched the previous video, you might want to go there. You see it? Okay. Watch these in sequence so that you don't get lost or confused. Okay, let's get into the video. Since 2006, I've been teaching high school kids how to transform their lives through education. So, consider subscribing and join the mission to make the hood all good. All right, so again, please, before watching this video, you would want to watch the previous video. It's right here. This is what we went over. But today, we're going to be doing this, text layer and layers in general. So how do we add a text layer? But I'm not going to go into scale, position, rotation yet. And then uh, we're going to discuss video layer and how that affects layers below. And then we're going to discuss audio layer and how it's the sum of all sounds. So I've already started my program. I've already imported everything I need. I've already marked my ins and out points. And I have my sound effects and my background music. So I have everything set up to go. And now I'm on the cut page. Sorry, the edit tab. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to drag this in and out point and I'm going to uh, expand this so you guys can see. Now I'm going to add text. So I'm going to drag this, put it up here, scroll up on my mouse and I'm on video layer one and video and audio layer one. So to find the text tools or to add text, you have to click on this effects library and then you're going to go to titles and then you can drag this up and down right here to put, let's say, a text, okay? And then uh, I want to just drag any of these examples right here and just put it on top like that. And then I have this on my video layer number two. So whatever is on the top layer, you can see this text coming in right here. That is the text layer. And then you can adjust the text layers by going to inspector and you can change by clicking the text layer. Once you click the text layer, you're able to change a bunch of stuff like the line controls, the colors, the controls of all this stuff. But I don't care about that right now. I just want to be able to edit the text. Go here. Okay. It says first line of text. So I'm going to put my name to one hang like that. Okay. And see how the text changes here. I'm going to go into more details about how to deal with text and all that stuff later. But the idea I want to explain most today is the concept of layering. So when you have this text layer on top, you have this image that you can see right here only, but everything else on that text layer is clear or transparent. So that's why this part is blocking me because if I just move it out like right here, I don't have a text layer, so it's gone now. And you can see that there's no layer blocking this bottom layer. Now let's make that more apparent. So let's say I want to take this right here, my slow motion of myself. Okay. You're going to still, you're going to see the text layer move out of the way and then you're not going to see the text layer anymore, but I'm going to keep talking and you're going to hear me and I'm going to take this and make it louder here. You're going to hear me speaking and you're going to see me moving and doing my jump kick instead. Okay. Watch this. Is the same so we don't write the one we just say x is equal to five so if you can see right there you can still hear me talking you saw my clip for a little bit you hear me talking but you see me doing my jump kick what's happening here is this top layer is taking up all the space here there is no transparency unlike this text layer that has transparency around right here or this area and so when the text is gone, you see me teaching, but when this layer video layer is on top, you hear me speaking, but you see me doing the jump kick because this layer it's blocking the bottom video. So the idea here is whatever video layer is on top, it blocks the layer below it. So for example, I'm just going to drag this, put it on top like that. Do you see this word right here? That layer is blocking this layer and this layer is blocking that layer. So 
I hope that makes sense. And if it, if it doesn't, go ahead and leave it in the comments uh, down below and ask me a question. Now let's start doing audio. So the first thing I want to do here is I want to put some background music. Here's my background music. All right, I put it in audio layer number two. So you're going to hear me speaking and you're going to hear the background music. And the background music, I'm going to take it down just a little bit. I'll have another tutorial just on audio later. So you're going to hear background music and me teaching. So this is really 1 times x is equal to 5. 1 times any number is just the same. So we don't write the 1, we just say x is equal to 5. All right, so unlike the video layer, the audio layer, they work together. They are the sum of everything you put together. So for example, if I want to hear a rooster noise, which is right here, right before, at the end of this title, and me still speaking, and then you're gonna see me jump kicking and then the rooster noise is ending. So all this audio is going to work together to be the sum of all these audio and you have to mix it together, it's like sound mixing. It's really, really basic sound mixing. So I'll just play it for you. One times any number is just the same. So we don't write the one, we just say X is equal to. So this is just an understanding of layers and how video layers affect each other when you stack them and how audio layer work together to become one sound, as you can say, in unison. <laughs> Anyways, that's the end of the tutorial. So let's go to Mr. Hang with the fancy camera and uh, we'll end this video. Okay, so if you learned something new, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Anything new that you wanna learn, leave it on the comments down below. I'll try my best to get to it. And if you wanna know what gears I use, Link is in the descriptions below. Any commission that I make off of those purchases that you make through the Amazon links, the money goes straight to my classroom to improve it, upgrade, and equipment breaking, I can replace it, so on and so forth. And don't forget, this is a video that's in sequential order, so if it doesn't make sense to you, make sure you go watch the playlist. And we're gonna say goodbye now. So this is how we're gonna do it. Rock, paper, peace. Let's hang out again in the next video.